Hi everyone, this is Dr. Manu Krishnan K. I welcome you all to our Rajna Short Lectures. And here we will discuss about Karma Purusha or Chigil Sadhikrita Purusha today. So, in the previous session, we have seen the Dhadu Bedana Purusha. So, you can cross refer the same and continue with this session. So, let's decipher the first term Karma Purusha in detail and later we will go for the definition. So, first of all, the term Purusha is Puri Vasati Iti Purushaha. An entity residing in a certain place is termed as Purusha. So, particularly when we discuss about Chigil Sadhikrita Purusha, here you have to consider the body itself, the human body, the different types of Purusha we have discussed in the previous session. So, the Purusha concept should be very clear before going into the term Karma Purusha. So, let's define what is Karma or Kriya. So, the term Karma or Kriya refers to Kriya Shastrodidam Karmam Beshaja Shastra Kshārākni Nirvartyam Swastya Vritti Karamcha According to a commentary on Susruta Samhita, here you can define Kriya as it is nothing but the karma which has been told in the Shastra where it includes Beshaja that is internal medications Shastra Kshārākni Karmas Shastra means surgical procedures Sharakni karmas are parasurgical procedures and the aim of all these particular procedures are Swastya Vritti Karamcha. They are all aimed at providing health and Swastya to the patient. So, the karma or kriya can easily be interpreted as the term Chikilsa. So, let's see what is the concept of Chikilsa. So, here Bhude Byohi Param Yasmat Nasti Chinta Chikilsiti. It is a verse that is taken from Susruta Sharira 1st chapter 13th sloka and here it is defined as Bhude Byohi Param Yasmat Nasti Chinta Chikil Siddhi. There is no concept of treatment without the proper knowledge of the Panja Baudhika constitution of the body. So you will be thinking only we can't consider the Panja Baudhika constituency alone. We have to consider the Tridoshas. So in this particular area it has been told clearly that the Buddha, Panja Buddha constitution is what defines the entire body. So, let's see how the Karma Purusha has been defined. So, the Karma Purusha is Karma or Chigilsa Tattva along with the Purusha constitution. So, we can define, it can be defined by combining all the discussed components before and the Chigilsa Adhikrita Purusha can be defined as Panja Mahabuddha Shariri Samavaya Purushaha Idisa Esha Karma Purusha Chikil Sadhikrataha. So here it has been clearly told Panja Mahabuddha Shariri. That means Panja Mahabuddha means the Panja Mahabuddhas. Then Shariri refers to the Jeevatma or Atma and the Samavaya refers to the inseparable coexistence of these particular components forms the Purusha. And that is defined as Karma Purusha or Chigil Sadhikrita Purusha. Then, what is the concept of treatment? What is the purpose of learning about Karma Purusha? So, the basic concept of Ayurveda treatment is Vridhi Samane Sarvesham Vibari Der Vibariya. So, that is the concept called as Samanya Vishesha Siddhanta. So, here it has been told as Vridhi Samane. So, when we provide a particular medicine or any particular drug of choice that is similar to that of the attributes of the Panja Mahabuddhas, that particular vriddhi will happen. And if you provide the antagonistic properties, then that will have a negative effect over the increased dosha or Panja Mahabuddha or any particular constituents. So, this is the basic ideology which we follow in case of treatment. So, that is why we are learning the Karma Purusha concept. So, by identifying the Panja Baudhika constituency of the body, we can advise a particular Panja Baudhika constituency of a drug of choice that can alleviate the condition. So, that is the whole concept of it. Then, let us see what are the Lakshanas of Karma Purusha. So, they are otherwise known as Shodasha Kala. So, you here in this particular verse, Tasya Sugadukke Icha Deveshav Prayatnaha Prana Pana Unmesha Nimeshav Buddhir Manaha 
ಸಂಕಲ್ಪೋ ವಿಚಾರಣ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಮಧ್ಯವಸಾಯೋ ವಿಷಯೋಪಲಬ್ಧಿಶ್ಚ ಗುಣಾಹ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದ ಲಕ್ಷಣಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಪುರುಷ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಸುಗಾ ರಫರ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಜಾಯ್ ದುಃಖ ಟು ದಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೋರೋ ಇಚ್ಛಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ್ವೇಷ ಡಿಸೈರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅವೋಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ವೆಂಚುರಿಂಗ್ ಕೆಪಾಸಿಟಿ then prana pano one is respiration and the other one is expulsion then unmesha and nimesha that is the awakeness and the sleeping mode then buddhi refers to the intellect mana to the self predominance sangalpa to the ambitions vicharana discretion smriti as remembrance vijnana as the knowledge and adhyavasaya as determination and vishayobalabdi as the perception the perceiving capacity of the indriyas so all these factors are which forms the karma purusha so to define a karma purusha there should be the coexistence of all this particular lakshanas so once these lakshanas are present you can define that particular constituency as karma purusha so this is what defines the ಚಿಗಿಲ್ಸಾಧಿಕೃತ ಪುರುಷ ಓರ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಪುರುಷ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಥ್ಯಾ